Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into project management applications because as you might have known I have been trying out a few different project management applications because I've been looking for a dedicated project management tool and I am a big fan of project management tools and whether you choose to do it like I do and have a dedicated project management application like for example the one you are seeing right here which is called Notion or you choose to do it inside of one of your existing note-taking apps examples of that can be things like reflect and craft and just using those um, to help you manage your projects I think that everyone needs some sort of project management because uh, we tend to think of project as something we do at work but it isn't just that projects can be so so much more projects can be a home renovating project it can be in my case every YouTube video I do and the only thing that makes me like define a project is that it has multiple ste uh, steps and it needs to be done within a set period of time one other thing to keep in mind is that if you sometimes have a task in front of you like um, like let's see if I can find a task uh, like this one right here uh, if you have a task in front of you and you just sit and look at that task uh, it tends to be a project not necessarily a task so uh, that is just something I've experienced but let's jump into like project management applications uh, because I like to use dedicated tools for uh, the things I do in my life. So I have a dedicated note-taking app, a dedicated to-do list application, uh, and I also want a dedicated um, a dedicated project management tool. Uh, and y you might be totally different. You might like fewer applications, and there are uh, pluses and minuses to uh, both of those ways of doing it. Uh, but you just have to choose what works best for you. In this video, I'm going over the project management applications I've tested out, like really tested out. And the first one is Notion. And where Notion shines is like the uh, uh, versatility of the application. I can build out everything I want to. I can build out exactly what I need to be able to do the things that I want to do which is huge it is amazing and it is great Notion is also a huge company which means that um, they will be around um, in five six seven years they will probably still be around uh, some of the other like uh, beta applications I've tried out probably won't be around in five to ten years so that is something you don't have to worry about when it comes to notion but like the main selling point of this is two things it is the integrations there are a lot of great integrations with notion and the second one uh, is the versatility you can actually build everything and it is more of a no code tool than it is just a project management tool so you can use this as your note taking app your second brain and your project management tool so if you're looking for an all-in-one solution notion might be a great option I decided not to go for notion because of two of the major setbacks the first uh, major setback is the fact that um, or this isn't a major setback for everyone it is a major setback for me personally uh, and that is the fact that uh, I tend to like to do work about work so I uh, tend to spend a lot of time uh, trying to customize things and that is something I really want to avoid. I decided to give Notion just another try as a pure project management tool but I ended up in the same position. The second reason which is even more important uh, for a lot of people is uh, the learning curve it is just huge you have to spend a lot of time just learning how the databases work uh, learning how to set everything up and 
for Notion to be like a really powerful tool. Uh, you actually have to spend some time learning it. And some people say that you can just uh, add a blank page and start writing your notes. And I definitely agree that you could do that. But if that is all you're going to do inside of an application, I have much better applications for you to use things like Apple Notes, for example. Uh, so for Notion to be a good tool, you actually have to spend some time learning it. Uh, one other thing is that it tends to be a little slow if you have a lot of information inside of it. And that is just something you have to accept with this cloud-based uh, application. So that's the first one. It is Notion. Second application is really similar to Notion. This is called uh, click up and I played around with this a little bit. I used it a little bit. Uh, it is different but uh, sort of the same. Uh, it is a way for you to have like an all-in-one application. Uh, you can have everything inside of here uh, but I would say that this feels more like a designated like project management tool whereas Notion feels more like an all-in-one tool in general. Um, you have the ability to have a home here, inbox, uh, dashboards. I will get back to docs later. Uh, but here you have your different spaces and that is where you have your task management. I, and I feel like this application is best at like task management uh, and automations. Uh, and it is also really good if you use it with a team. Uh, and they have like every view you could dream of and even some views you would never ever need. But you have things like chat, you have a uh, team uh, view, you have the form view, dashboard view, activity, whiteboard, mind map, uh, just a general map. As I said, things that I would never use. Uh, you have a board, table, calendar, doc, and uh, Gantt uh, chart. So you have a bunch of different options. One thing uh, that I dislike about this application, I think it's really good for project management use cases. I feel like it isn't as good for like um, document creation. And that is because the documents inside of here, there is no like really good way to organize them. That's the first thing. Uh, and secondly, I just don't like how uh, they feel. That is more personal, but I could like start writing here and I have backslash functionality because you can do sub pages and uh, tables and stuff like that. But I still feel like there lacks uh, a way of organizing this. You can of course use search and even uh, AI search which they have so it is possible to do but uh, it does not excel at, uh, at uh, document creation. I would say that this is good for things like a knowledge base like a wiki tool for uh, your products. If you work in a team and you're selling products it works great uh, for things like standard operating procedures uh, where it lacks is like for basic note taking uh, but you also have the ability to use a notepad here which creates personal notes. Uh, the second thing that you need to keep in mind is that this also comes with a bit of a learning curve just because there is so many things here. Uh, as you can see from the UI uh, which isn't ugly like the application looks good but there is just so much here and for a lot of people that can feel both uh, a little scary and a little unnecessary as well but it is an option if you're if you want a lot of customizability but you uh, get a little scared from staring at a white page in Notion this feels much more like a plug and play uh, system even if it needs a little work up front as well, but not as much as Notion. I hope that makes sense. So next up, we have uh, a couple that are a combination of tools. The first one I have here is Microsoft Loop and the Microsoft ecosystem. So Microsoft Loop is like Microsoft's version of Notion. It isn't as good. It still lacks. It still has bugs. Like if your database here is too... Uh, big, there is too much information inside of there. Uh, 
the whole uh, experience gets really really slow so that is just one thing to keep in mind but here you have uh, the basic Kanban and table view inside of your databases just like Notion has databases this has databases as well uh, so you have uh, that but apart from that and uh, why I said that this can be multiple different applications is because there are multiple different use cases for something like Microsoft Loop. I can actually add a planner embed inside of here. So actually let's do my uh, YouTube videos, insert this here and it will show up right here. Uh, and for a lot of people, uh, that is a great way of doing this, especially if you work in a team and I feel like a lot of these applications right here uh, are more tailored towards Teams, especially the Microsoft applications. Um, so you have the ability to use like uh, Microsoft applications and sort of consolidate them into uh, Microsoft Loop and they are rolling out updates constantly. You also have your meeting notes here, uh, a place to write your ideas, which is basically just uh, like the notepad inside of ClickUp. You can take private notes inside of here. Uh, so there are a bunch of possibilities with this one. Uh, the good thing here is that you get like the whole uh, Microsoft ecosystem, uh, which is great. Uh, on the other hand, you actually have to pay uh, much more for that compared to uh, some of the other uh, options and you p basically pay for a bunch of applications you won't actually use. So for the business plan, I think I am paying around 15 USD, something like that, which can feel a little expensive, but I get things like Word, for example, and Excel, but I found myself when I've had it that I mostly don't use the applications. When it comes to Microsoft Loop, uh, itself it isn't good enough to be your all-in-one solution and it still isn't good enough to be your project management tool in my opinion you still need to have like the whole microsoft ecosystem and use the whole microsoft ecosystem for this to be worth it uh, if you're considering something like this uh, and you're not in the microsoft ecosystem honestly go for Notion, ClickUp, or, or any other of the uh, options I have uh, shown you in this video, because this only works if you already live inside of the Microsoft ecosystem, but I wanted to include it since a lot of businesses actually live inside of the Microsoft ecosystem. As I said, if you don't live in the Microsoft ecosystem, there are better options for you. And one of these options are uh, is actually uh, an application called uh, Confluence. And Confluence is mostly uh, used by like developers and developer teams, uh, but I have tested it out a little bit. This is also more used in businesses than in personal uh, or uh, for uh, personal use cases but you have a bunch of options here and again you can combine this with the rest of the Atlassian uh, suite so you could actually connect Jira into here which is their project management tool so you have the ability here to uh, combine those two basically what you get here is like um, just a page where you can add different things and add sub pages and you can even nest pages within other pages like this so you can have nested pages it feels a little bit like microsoft loop but i would say better a lot of people say that microsoft loop is uh, like notion uh, it is copied uh, and modeled off of notion i feel like it is more modeled off of confluence here you get automations, analytics, calendar in the premium plan, space settings, uh, but this comes with, again, a huge learning curve to it. Uh, I spent a lot of time learning the application, but on the other hand, you have this like uh, really good backslash command. Uh, I would say that this sits like in, when it comes to learning curve, sits in between something like ClickUp and something like uh, Notion. So I would say that it is something uh, between those two, but um, as you can see, there are a lot of options. One thing I have really disliked about this is when I finish a page, it shows up in my draft. I actually have to press publish 
then publish this page uh, and it will show up here uh, and I will get this uh, like notification right here or I could just jump into this and let's actually do this one instead and I have to press this E button right here or uh, press this edit button right, right here or press E in order for this to go into edit mode and I can actually then start interacting with the page. So there are a, a few things like that, but I really like the application. I think it looks good. I like the backslash commands. That is really good. I like this uh, bar up here as well for uh, the ability to format things. So there are a few things I like. You also have databases. They are in beta still, so you will need to, um, you will need to enable that before you can use the databases, but you have the ability to use that as well. But as you can see, this again is more of a project management tool. Uh, so if you're looking for more of a pure project management tool, this is also an option that I feel like is more tailored towards developers compared to something like ClickUp. And it is also better if you want uh, to have like a place for notes, wiki, and things you write, and another place for your tasks, uh, you can actually use this together with Jira. Both of them are a part of the Atlassian suite. So last up, we have the application I have chosen. And uh, I said early in the video that I struggled a bit with Notion, uh, and uh, I've struggled with all of the previous ones as well. Uh, ClickUp was too much. Um, Microsoft didn't work. Confluence felt like too much as well. And one thing that none of them had was a great way for me to interact with uh, files, images, uh, and that's basically the way I work. As you might have already know, I use Milanote as my uh, note-taking uh, application of choice. And I feel like that combines really well with, uh, with, um, with Milanote because Milanote is such a visual application. I'm actually looking for uh, or working on a couple of videos. One of them is the panels application, which I've tested out a little bit. I have uh, generative art and AI art, and this is basically how I work inside of this application. Uh, I have, I take notes on my um, phone and I uh, drag them into my different boards. There are a bunch of things you can do with this application. What I really like about it is that uh, it is really visual and it works really well with different file types and it is exactly what I need since most of the things I use a project management tool for is uh, for my YouTube channel uh, and for my social medias in general and having a reference images, reference videos and stuff like that feels really good. Uh, and I can also upload things like thumbnails quite easily and interact with the files quite easily. Uh, and it also works uh, great with uh, an iPad and an Apple Pencil, which also is something I use a lot. So if you, are a really visual person and you're looking for a visual project management tool, this is a great choice. The free plan is a little limiting. You get a hundred items. I'm on the paid plan uh, and I really recommend it. I have used it before previously as a full on note taking app uh, for a YouTube video, but I kind of knew when I started this journey that I would probably fall back on something like Middle Note because I just like it so much for creative uh, tasks. Uh, but again, it is highly personal and picking uh, um, productivity tools and a project management tool for your personal projects is highly personal. So you will just need to figure out what works the best for you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Uh, and uh, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, uh, if you like tech and mental health and productivity, please do subscribe. And as always, I really hope to see you again quite soon.